Hi friends, my name is Kelsey. Happy spring! And welcome to Doozium Do It At Home. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Mason Bee Hotel. And I'll be showing you all the steps so you can make it at home with your grown up. You may think bees are scary, and they can be, but what if I told you that Texas was home to a variety of bluish green bees that don't sting? They're called mason bees, and they're very important pollinators and important parts of our ecosystem here in Texas. They help to pollinate all sorts of flowers and plants like strawberries, cranberries, and melons, as well as tons of different wildflowers and garden flowers. So if you've ever enjoyed a strawberry, make sure to give those bees a good old bee ha. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested in learning more about how to build a home and a habitat for these animals, stick around and I'll show you how. For this activity today, you'll need a few different things. A can, a tin can, or you can use a plastic water bottle. You'll need sticks. I also gathered some bamboo, but the bamboo is completely optional. If you don't have any at home, we'll be using paper instead. A nail and a hammer which your grown up will help you use both. Some tape, twine, scissors, and paint, glitter, um, some special paper to wrap around the outside of your can, whatever you wanna do to decorate your um, bee hotel. So after you gathered all your supplies, you'll wanna decorate your can. You can use paper, you can decorate the paper and then tape it onto here. Um, I use paint on mine, you can also add glitter. Just make sure none of that stuff gets inside the can because as much as I love glitter, the bees don't. You can see right here, I decorated mine with lots of different flowers and vines. After you've decorated your can, you're gonna get your adult to help you with the hammer and nail. So the first thing you're going to do is set your can down and look at the bottom and see where you would like the nail to go. Wherever you put the nail at is going to be the top part of your bee hotel. That's where it, the thread is going to go through so you can hang it. So I'm gonna take my, my nail and my hammer and I'm going to very carefully nail a hole through the top. Perfect. So now I have a hole inside my can that I can use to put the thread through. I'm going to take my twine and stick it through the hole so that way I can start to get going on my bee hotel. Just like that. So now we can start filling it with the insides of the hotel where the bees will live. For that, you'll need your paper. And you're going to use about four to five sheets of paper. And you're going to roll it up into a little tube. Just like this. And make sure you tape the ends so that way it stays nice and together for when the bees move inside. And now this part is ready to go inside the can. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you fill up most of the space inside the can. So now that I have all my paper rolled inside, I'm gonna start adding my extra filler stuff. So I have these pieces of bamboo, which are great for mason bees, because they're about the right size. And they are just hollow all the way through, just like the papers that we use today. I'm also going to be adding some sticks for other insects to live on, because these hotels function very well for mason bees, but they can also help out other bugs who need a place to stay. So I'm gonna add some extra sticks inside. And there we go. We have our bee hotel. So inside here, like I said, we have our sticks that are going to help house other small insects. We have our bamboo pieces, which are hollow, just like the insides of our tubes we made for the bees to live in. Let's go hang it. 
So the difference between mason bees and honeybees is mason bees are typically more solitary, so they tend to really like these individualized areas for them to live in. If you ever see one of these covered up with mud, that means there's baby bees inside. So make sure you leave it alone. So that way you can see all the bees that come to visit and are born and hatch out of your bee hotel. I think this is a good spot right here. There we go. And you'll wanna make sure that your bee hotel is at least a yard off of the ground so that way the bees feel safe coming and staying in your hotel. Remember, if you see any bees or insects in your backyard, Give them a whole howdy and tell them bee ha. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Bye.